Hi everyone, uh, my name is Marco. I am a physiotherapist and a clinical advisor at Meloc. And this is... My name is Ray, I'm one of the co-founders, but today I'll be the patient. Today we will show you the benefits of using Easy Angle and Easy Force together uh, to supplement your functional measurements for an, uh, a quick, accurate and objective uh, way. As a physiotherapist throughout my career, uh, I have been dealing with a lot of uh, patients that uh, were surgically taken care of. So we will present you with a case of a patient that had a trauma of the olecranon bone and he has been taken surgically care of and admitted to our physiotherapy clinic. So um, first we will accurately assess the uh, condition by using easy angle uh, followed by the measurement of the strength of the muscles using easy force. So we will start measuring range of motion with easy angle firstly by instructing the patient to lay on his back. So since we are measuring the elbow we will bring the forearm into flexion. We can use one arm to support the patient and other arm to perform the measurement. We will turn on the device align it, start the measurement, and end the measurement. So we can read the results and at the same time we can also show it to the client. After we have uh, performed uh, the assessment of range of motion using easy angle, we can proceed to measuring the muscle strength with easy force. And for these purposes we use a number strap which is very useful if you want to repeat the measurement in the future. In this way you will know exactly where you're positioned. On the other side we will use the uh, wrist attachment and we will attach it somewhere uh, in the line of the trajectory of the movement. We will bring uh, shoulder into 90 degrees of flexion and elbow into 90 degrees of flexion as well. We will position the wrist strap. We will turn on the device and start the measurement while we can stand up and support the patient while he's performing the movement. So you can start the movement. We will hear the beeping sound one, two, three, and relax. This is the end of the measurement, and now we can read the, all the parameters that Easy Force gives us. And this is the average force, peak force, time to peak, and time under tension. Now we will proceed uh, to measuring the muscle strength of the elbow flexion and we can just uh, instruct the patient to uh, come to the sitting position. For this purpose we will uh, slightly adjust the number strap into making it a little bit shorter. We will start the measurement while at the same time as previously we can uh, come stand up and support the patient while he is performing the movement. Good. And here we go. We have got the same parameters as for the elbow extension. So as we have shown you today, you can use both the devices to uh, supplement the functional tests that you are performing already at your clinic. Uh, you will document the status, you will show it to the patient uh, in order for him to understand the progress he has, made, he has made and on top of that you will be able to transfer that information to the colleagues that you are work working with. Uh, in this way we are getting a really comprehensive picture of your patient's status. Uh, you are measuring actually, you can measure all the joints and, uh, of, the of the body and measure the strength of all the muscles while this supporting your patient on his journey.